Time with Mrs. Richardson. Hello, friends. Welcome to Storytime, another great story read especially for you. Storytime tip number one. Always look at the cover of the book to get an idea of what the story is going to be about. And on the cover of this book is a very special animal. It's called a prairie dog. You can go to the Norfolk Zoo to see prairie dogs. There's also a very special type of ball in the center of this book. It's not a football. It's not a soccer ball. It's a tennis ball. And this tennis ball has fuzz. The title of the story is The Great Fuzz Frenzy. You're going to like this story. Let's get started. The Great Fuzz Frenzy. This book was written by two sisters, Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Crummel. And there's a dog, a golden retriever, whose name is Violet, who had a tennis ball in his mouth and it dropped down a hole. Down it went. Boink, boink, watch out below, rumble, rumble, help, 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 run for your life, thump, thump, plunk, there it sat, perfectly still, the prairie dogs waited, they were perfectly still, look at all these prairie dogs, they're not moving, slowly they crept out, inch by inch, dog by dog, what is it, a thing, is it a good thing or a bad thing? A round thing, a strange thing, a scary thing. What should we do? Don't touch it. Is it alive? Shh. Stand back, boomed a voice. You act like gutless groundhogs, afraid of your own shadow. Oh, no, it's Big Bark. Big Mouth is more like it. He's the meanest dog around. I thought he left town. Well, I'm back, growled Big Bark, so out of my way. Let me have a look. You can always tell which prairie dog is Big Bark because he's a little bit larger, and look, he has a very special bottle cap as his hat. But before anyone could move, little Pipsqueak raced past Big Bark, reached out, and poached the big round thing. No, the crowd yelled. It's fuzzy, said Pip. Oh, the crowd gasped. A tiny piece of fuzz was caught in Pip's claw. She looked at it, she turned it, she sniffed it, and then she put it on her head. Look at me! Aw, oh, the crowd sighed. Quit hamming it up, you half-pint hamster, snarled Big Bark. I'm in charge. But look at Pip Squeak. Isn't she adorable? With that little bit of fuzz on the top of her head? But those prairie dogs didn't listen. They had to have fuzz. I like it. Me too. I want some. Do you? Oh, yes, so do I. So do we. So do they. Big Bark, move over. Get out of our way. They charged past him and they grabbed at the fuzz. Look at all those prairie dogs trying to get the fuzz off that tennis ball. And Big Bark doesn't look too happy, does he? The prairie dogs pulled it, they puffed it, they stretched it, they fluffed it, they tugged it, they twirled it, they spiked it, they swirled it, they fuzzed their ears, their heads, their noses, they fuzzed their feet, their tails, their toeses. Big Bark was beside himself. Listen to me, you ridiculous rodents. Stop this fuzzy foolishness. Look at these prairie dogs. They are using that fuzz as slippers, a hairpiece, look, earmuffs. They are so silly with that fuzz. But those prairie dogs didn't listen. They were busy being hot dogs and silly dogs and corny dogs and frilly dogs, top dogs, funny dogs, super dogs and bunny dogs. You're all nuts, you squirrely fuzz freaks, yelled Big Bark, storming off. Look, this prairie dog here has it looking like a tutu. And this one has little bunny ears. And that one has a mask like Superman. News of the fuzz spread from hole to hole, burrow to burrow, town to town. Soon prairie dogs from everywhere were coming to see that fuzz. They came, they saw, and they picked. They twisted it, they braided it, they danced and they paraded it. It was a fuzz frenzy. It was a fuzz fiesta. It was a fuzz fandangle. The whole prairie was abuzz about fuzz. 
They are the silliest prairie dogs I've ever seen. Don't you agree? They picked and pruned, and they pulled and they pinched. They pinched and pulled, and they pruned and they picked, until the fuzz ran out. That big round thing was fuzzless. It was naked as a plucked chicken. Some prairie dogs got a lot of fuzz. Some got a little. Some got no fuzz at all. And they were mad. Give me that fuzz. Why? Because it's my fuzz. Well, it was your fuzz. Get that fuzz. Get that fuzz. Pulling, grabbing, swiping, and nabbing, poking, jabbing. It was a war. It was a war between the fuzzes and the fuzz knots. Their peaceful town was a battleground. It was a fuzz fight. It was a fuzz feud. It was a fuzz fiasco. I started this, moaned Pip Squeak. I have to do something. Everyone, stop. Stop fighting. But those prairie dogs didn't listen. The battle raged on. Friend against friend. Cousin against cousin. Dog against dog. Until no one was left standing. They were pooped. Fuzzled out. Fast asleep. Wow. They were exhausted. Look at them. Hours later, the prairie dogs began to stir. Oh, where's the fuzz? I don't know. Where did it go? Someone has stolen our fuzz, said Pig Squeak. Who did it? He did it. She did it. You did it. Look, they're all pointing to the other person, to the other prairie dog. I did, barked a voice from above. I stole the fuzz. Look at Big Bark. He's got that fuzz all over him. The prairie dogs froze. Then they raced up, up, up the long tunnel. There stood Big Bark, covered with fuzz from head to tail. I'm king of the fuzz, he snarled. Do you hear me? I'm king of the... Swoop! The sky went totally black. What do you think has happened? What happened? Where's Big Bark? Look! There he was, high above their heads, dangling from the talons of an eagle. No more Big Bark, the crowd cheered. Yay! Don't yay! He's one of us, yelled Pip. We have to save him. How would you like to be Eagle's lunch? No, the crowd yelled. Look at Big Bark. He's, the Eagle's got him. Oh. Big Bark, wiggle free, the prairie dog shouted. Shake loose. Hurry, we'll catch you. Big Bark twisted and he turned and he wormed and he squirmed. And at last, he was free of the fuzz. Yay, the crowd cheered. Big Bark fell faster and faster. No, the prairie dogs scattered. Get back here, yelled Pip. Quick, make a circle. Hold out your paws. They ran to the left. They ran to the right. Then they ran back to the left. Look, they're all looking up, waiting for Big Bark to land. Plop. You saved me, Big Bark cried. But I stole your fuzz, and now it's gone forever. Good, said Pip Squeak. Fuzz is trouble, right? Yay, the crowd cheered. Friend hugged friend. Cousin hugged cousin. Dog hugged dog. We don't need fuzz, said Pip. But with Eagle around, we do need to have a watchdog with a big... Bark! Big Bark rose up on his hind legs. Eagle's back. Bark! This is not a test. Bark! All dogs below. Bark! The prairie dogs raced down, 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 down the long tunnel. Whew! We made it. That was close. Three cheers for Big Bark, the best watchdog ever. Yip, yip, yahay! Yip, yip, yahay! Yip, yip, yahay! Just doing my job, Big Bark smiled. Are we ever getting tangled up with this fuzz again, cried Pip Squeak? No, the crowd yelled. No more fuzz! No more fuzz! And from that day forward, the prairie dogs lived happily and fuzzlessly ever after. Wasn't that a funny story? Can you believe the way they acted with that fuzz? What part of the story did you like the best? Was it the way they were dressed up, using that fuzz as slippers and masks and tutus? Or was it when the tennis ball didn't have any fuzz on it at all, and it was naked as a plucking chicken.
I'm so glad you were able to join us today, and I want to see you again for the next story time. Thank you.